All right, this video, we're going to purposely strike out on full self-driving. You get three strikes and then you're out. Let's see what it looks like and what happens. So we're going to engage autopilot, auto steer. It's going in the parking lot. Not so good. It's not even the road. Didn't pick a good road for it here. I'm not going to pay attention at all. We're going to get striked out. It's going to go through these ditches. Boy, this is really close to a pole. The road is about, yep, six feet over this way. It's finally figured it out. Now I'm not paying attention on purpose. And we should get a blue warning up here any second. We got a truck coming up. Let's see if it can veer around this truck up here. And please don't hit this truck. Okay, we're going around it. Good. It does a great job. Now this is the longest I've gone without holding the wheel without a notification. Oh, there's the blue. It's probably got a time to get the stop sign up here. It's going to cut me off. So hang out to the end of this video because i got a controversial subject uh, in addition to the full self-strike and I'll be happy to share with you. And here's the big warning flashing. This is going to be our third strike. Coming up to the stop sign. It's flashing. Should give us a red indicator. Preparing to stop. It's still driving. There's the red warning. And there it is. We're dead. There it is. Hey, we're killed. Auto steer. We're done. Puts the hazards on. And it's done driving for us. So we'll turn that annoying sound off. You can see just how quickly it is. You can start the clock. On, maybe I should play this video back and you'll see. I mean, this little street I was on with no one on. Uh, couldn't be a quarter mile long. And I don't know. It was definitely under a minute. But we got a third strike. We'll see what the screen says here. Pull over. All right, let's engage autopilot. And it says unavailable for the rest of this drive. So let's try and trick it by stopping the drive and disengaging everything. Put it in park. Open the, oh, there it is. There's the big warning. Dead in the water. FSD beta has been temporarily removed due to the continued improper use. This feature will be restored in approximately one week. So you get jail for one week for three times not paying attention. They take it really serious, which is good. I'm glad they should because full self-driving, people should not rely on the car to drive. They should be paying attention. I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, shouldn't be doing anything foolish with it. But there it is, full jail after three strikes, you get a one week ban. And this is filmed uh, with FSD. Beta 11.4.4 and jail, just like that. So this brings us to the end of the video and my conclusion. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more great content. And if you watch my channel anytime at all, you always know I, I'd be remiss if I didn't share the greatest news ever. And unlike full self-driving where we get three strikes and we're out, uh, God is long patient, long willing, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. His desire is for all men to come to know him as Lord and Savior. And unlike FSD with a one-week probation or people who've had criminal histories uh, past, you know, that, that stigma kind of always stays with them. Our, our mistakes kind of stay. And when they're in the public and they're in the public records, they don't go away. Even after seven years, you know, they can't use it against you, but it's still there. There's a record of every wrongdoing you've done in the courthouse. And God's a record keeper too. And he's a just judge. And he keeps record of every vile word, thought, and deed that comes out of your mouth. Think about that. There's nothing hidden from God's sight. Everything is going to be uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Sobering words. Very truly sobering. So how are you going to do on Judgment Day? You think God's going to let you in because he's so loving and so kind and you've turned your back on him your whole life and you've spit on him and you just think he's going to go, well, you know, sure, come on in. There's going to be no penalty for your sin. You just got away with it. You got away with committing adultery by looking at lust and looking at porn. Or you got to away with murder and you said, I've never murdered anybody but you know Jesus said if you hate someone it's as if you've murdered them already in your heart so how will you do on judgment day if you're like me you're going to be guilty you're going to have to give an account 
And that's where the gospel comes in, because those that will understand and are awakened by the Spirit of God realize that all sin is against the holy and just God, and there has to be payment for that sin. And the payment is in the form of yourself taking that, the full wrath of what you deserve in a place called hell, which is eternity, or repenting, putting your faith in what God's already done, sending Jesus to live a sinless life. It was tempted in every which way that you and I were tempted. Saw beautiful women, tempted to steal, tempted tempted to do these things. The devil took him in the wilderness for 40 days to tempt him and said, Hey, if you're the son of God, turn these stones to bread. And Jesus said, Man shall not live on bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Every time the devil tempted Jesus, he responded with the word of truth, his word, the Bible. So friends, if you're not standing on the promises of Christ, if you're not putting your full weight, your full faith, your full trust, your full confidence in the resurrected King, then on Judgment Day, the Bible's clear. And I hate to say it. You'll spend eternity in hell. I pray as you watch this video that you're convicted of your sin and your need to turn from that sin. And the Bible calls that term repentance. And put your faith in and what God's already done by sending his son to die for your sins. Put your faith in Jesus today. If you've done that, it's not just as simple as saying a quick little prayer. Okay, I've got my fire insurance. I'm good. No, you, there will be a transformation in your life. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, If any man or woman be in Christ, they're a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. That's my prayer for you, to not only to know Christ as your Lord and Savior, but to live your life in such a way that you bear so much fruit that it's glorifying to the Lord, that you bring Him glory every day. You honor your, your spouse. You honor your employer. You honor your children. You honor the elderly. You honor strangers. You honor people of all walks of life because they're image bearers of a holy God. That's my prayer for you for watching this video. Thanks so much for watching. And I know it's a Tesla video and, and FSD, but um, it's not a bait and switch. If you watch my channel, you'll see that I share the gospel at the end of every video because I never know who's going to watch. And maybe you're that person who was just interested in Tesla and Maybe you've been thinking about eternity for a while and you're not sure how you're going to stack up. The Bible's clear. Don't, don't fool yourself. Don't kid yourself. God's a just judge. He's a holy judge. He's a righteous judge. And the Bible talks about God's loving kindness, His mercy, His grace, in addition to the wrath. We can't appreciate the magnitude of the sacrifice of Jesus dying on the cross in our place if we don't see ourselves as that criminal on the cross with him that we're the ones worthy of death we're the ones that deserve the wrath but by god's grace and mercy through the power of his holy spirit i pray that he convicts you of your sin and that your need to be cleansed and washed white as snow that your name will be written in the lamb's book of life and that at the day of judgment you'll pass from death to life because of your faith in Christ. Friends, thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you. Please comment and let me know what you thought.